Don't come in, don't come in. Dad, it's me. I've got your dinner. No, no. You said curry was your favorite. Since you're staying with us for a bit, I want you to be happy. Look, we don't need to talk or anything. No, 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 don't, don't. Now, quickly, quickly. What? You look perfect. How depressing. Good evening, Cody. Ready when you are. You start. I'm just going to turn my camera off for a sec. The God's Hand Archipelago boasts some of the most beautiful sites in the North Pacific Ocean. Perhaps none more so than its largest island, Lepus. However, despite this, there is very little development on the island and no tourism. 
The Nîmes Bateau Hotel Group, in conjunction with Quinton Engineering, is proposing the development of the Iowa Well Cove site into a luxury 35-room hotel, spa, and scuba diving complex. And des services de plongée with masques and scaphandres. Our consultation period has already begun, and we know that you will be as committed as we are to bringing project to fruition with the minimum disruption to the natural landscape and wildlife of this beautiful bay. Our preliminary planning application is before the God's Hand Island Council, and we hope that you will join us in making our proposition the best it can be for the local economy and employment prospects, so that construction can begin early next year, ready to open our doors the following year. Et une promesse de création d'emplois pour que les travaux puissent commencer au début de l'année prochaine et que ce nouveau complexe ouvre ses portes l'année suivante. We hope to... I will welcome you soon. Le chef de projet joue sur le nom de la crique Iwawel et le mot anglais « welcome » qui signifie « bienvenue » pour souligner son désir de vous souhaiter la bienvenue très bientôt au sein de l'hôtel. Right, uh, let's have a little look then, shall we? Uh, well, I forgot the word for scuba diving and... Yeah, because that's a word you hear every day. I tried to keep up the pace, but I wasn't fast enough. He was talking really fast. Look, there was a golden half second there where I really thought you had it. You were getting the gist across, nice, simple and quick. And then you went straight back to trying to get it exactly right. Can we do another one? What? No! Oh, please, your advice is so valuable to me. You know what I think? I think you should cut yourself a break. This is interpreting, not translation. You don't have to be word fucking perfect. There is... There isn't... There isn't time. Speaking of which... What was that? Uh, nothing. Okay, uh, give me 15 minutes to clear some emails, then uh, let's get this ship started. What's the matter? I'm just down the hall trying to be professional and you're banging on the walls. I'm sorry. I can't hear you. This is stupid. <sighs> Dad, come on. This is ridiculous. You need to come out. Well, I can't. I, I, I don't want to put you and the baby in danger. Then why did you come here? Because Pierce has gone off to that place. Le, le pouce Il n'a même pas été encore sur l'île. Uh, le, le pouce, il n'a pas encore été sur l'île. Mais quand il revient, il va revenir avec eux. Et nous devons être prêts. Dad, il n'y a pas de curse. Donc, je suis juste un personnage crazy. Est-ce que c'est ça 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 Est-ce que c
I think your evil spirits would go away if you listened to your doctor. You're not well, Dad. <laughs> At least that's honest. <laughs> I'm just worried it's getting worse. Uh, well, they must have heard about your fiancé's development. How is Pierce? He's fine. How are you? And the baby? My health is not the issue. Please don't change the subject. Fine. Look, I only ask so much because I know what you went through to get pregnant. But you are right. They are getting stronger and there is only so much that I can do to stop them. And, uh, you know, I keep falling asleep after meals and that isn't helping. I want you to lock me in. What? I can't resist them for much longer. And God knows what happens when I'm asleep. I need you to lock me in. I don't want to hurt you. Fine, I lock you in. Good, I just hope it's enough. I need to go back to work. Are you translating to French or that lapoo? This speaker now makes me very employable. Nah. That language is dangerous and so is that island. Fine, fine, you don't like Le Pousse, but could you at least just try to be normal? At least long enough for me to finish my shift. I will do whatever I need to do to keep us all safe. Good night, Dad. Try to get some sleep. Yeah, sleep is the last thing I should be doing at night. Hey, gorgeous. How's it going? Yeah, good. Good? You mean Cody's not being a pain? Well, actually, she told me to cut myself a break, so... Yeah, well, she'd be interpreting for the United Nations if she was so great. Cody, best under pressure. Anything new? No, the investors want more psychic days that they don't want to pay for, and want us to leave but they also want us to give them jobs. Mm, I'm sure you'll sort it all out. I absolutely will. Is your father still in our house? Yeah. Any better? Mm, not really. Security systems, best investment I ever made. Just keep feeding Ms. Meds, okay? You'll be fine. It's not much longer now. I'll get this project sorted and then the three of us will be out on the poos. No time. Well, my dad has vowed never to set foot on that island again. What? No. The three of us. You, me, and our little IVF miracle in there. Oh. <laughs> you tell me you're still pregnant. Yes, of course. <laughs> the three of us. Uh... Laura Lynn, I have a treat for you. What, what is it? <laughs> it's good, right? Honestly? <laughs> you hate it, don't you? <laughs> Oh, I, I, I've got to go. Uh, take it easy. That's our little prince in there, and I'll speak to you later. Love you.
You're in demand tonight. Two calls. Both need someone who can speak Canar. Perfect. I've got a call between two businessmen. Uh, someone called Teron. Uh-huh. Uh, wants someone to authenticate a book before he buys it. And at the same time, I've got a guy who wants to speak to his mother. Um, I think they're estranged. He says he knows you. Max Vito? Oh, I know Max. I'm teaching him canard. I guess you want Max then. Sounds like the other one would be better for my career, no? I'll take the business call then. Please, Cody. Okay. I'll put you on. I'll be popping in and out to monitor, as usual. Remember, you don't need to be perfect. Bonsoir. Bienvenue chez Glossa Lingua. Avez-vous déjà utilisé nos services Oui. On m'a dit que vous saviez lire le canard. Oui. C'est un rare don, de ce côté du globe. Merci. Good evening, my name is Loraline. I'm an interpreter with Glossa Lingua. One of our account holders would like to speak with you. Are you willing to accept the call Yep. Connecting you now. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good. How was your flight? Uh, yes, well, okay. Voilà. J'ai bien peur qu'on ait atteint les limites. This is the extent of my English, I'm afraid. Right. Never mind. Good morning. Bonjour, enfin, enfin bonsoir. Ah, bonsoir. Good evening. Yeah, evening. I meant evening. <laughs> well, anyway, shall we crack on? Eh bien, commençons. I received your email. J'ai bien reçu votre email. To know how you became aware that I had this title. Mais en effet, je l'ai bien. It's a very valuable and treasured possession. C'est un bien très précieux et d'une grande valeur sentimentale. But I may be persuaded to part with it. Give me my price. Mais seulement juste prix. Je comprends bien. Mais avant tout, je understand, vous but si before we continue too far, I wonder, may I see it? Anyone would think you don't trust me. On pourrait croire que vous ne me faites pas confiance. Ce n'est pas du tout ça. Not at all. There we are. It's beautiful. It's expensive. Il coûte cher. Évidemment. Of course. J'aimerais savoir, Monsieur Vito, si vous seriez prêt à me I would be curious, Mr. Vito, if you would oblige me with the story of how you happened to come by this book. Hein? Um, <laughs> wants to know where you got that book from. Yeah, yeah, I bet you. Uh, oui, j'imagine bien que vous voudriez le savoir. En effet, vous voyez, je pense I would, avoir indeed, uh, exemplaire de ce livre à travers le monde. There I saw that I traced every copy of that trois. book in the whole world. Il me semble c'est surprenant. Even there's only three of them ever made. It seems rather odd that there is a man in London of all places who says he has one. Je suis très curieux. I, I am very curious. Well, curiosity killed the cat. I'll tell you what. If you still want to know where I got it, after you've seen the book, then I'll tell you. Très bien. Very well. Est-ce que je pourrais voir le colophon? Thank you. Excusez-moi, Monsieur Théron, Loraline ici. Est-ce que vous voulez bien répéter? Vous avez dit. Colophon. Je vais être sûr de ne pas me tromper. Technique. C'est la même chose en anglais. Oh. Monsieur Vito saura ce que je veux dire. D'accord. Merci. Mais ici, le colophon. 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 Monsieur Théron seemed to think you would know what it meant. <laughs> um... 
I'll see you in the internet. What? Hurry up. Containing the publisher's mark and copyright and printing information, typically at the front of the book. Thank you. There you are. Le voilà. Super. Excellent. Est-ce que je pourrais voir une page de texte? May une I page see a page canard. full of text, something with canard? Yeah. Here we are. Mm -hmm. Lisez juste en art, s'il vous plaît. Je n'ai pas besoin de traduction. Qui a nem au Leva Mouva Juko, Tolo du Déjou Remboula, ITG, ITG, ITG. Est-ce que c'est ce que vous cherchez Oui, tout à fait. Uh, yes, it was. Merci. C'était parfait. Bon, j'ai besoin de réfléchir un peu. Euh, ne vous inquiétez pas. Uh, I, I need to think about je this. Veux acheter I have no fear. I am now very serious about buying this book. But I have another appointment now. Est-ce que je peux vous Can rappeler I dans une heure you in an hour? C'est-à-dire qu'il est déjà assez tard ici. Bah, je peux faire en sorte que cela va être vraiment rapide. Je peux faire en sorte que cela va être vraiment rapide. D'accord. Une heure. Je n'attendrai pas plus longtemps. Très bien, merci. Bien sûr, merci. Jusqu'à l'heure. Until then. Alors, ça fait longtemps que vous êtes traductrice. Euh... Interprète, je ne suis pas vraiment traductrice. <rire> je vois. Eh bien, euh, dites-moi si vous avez des problèmes. Le canard est une langue sacrée qui a été inventée pour communiquer avec les esprits. Ça peut créer des problèmes chez certaines personnes. Ça va aller. Merci.
Papa Monsieur Théron. Je m'excuse, mais je n'ai pas beaucoup de temps à vous consacrer. Euh, Qu'est-ce qui se passe euh, Comme vous le savez, le canard est une langue sacrée utilisée autrefois uniquement pour s'adresser aux esprits. Eh bien, je crois que j'ai dérangé de vieux esprits tout à l'heure. Ça, c'est très curieux. Mon père ne va pas bien. Et après notre appel, une chose étrange s'est produite. Et... Une, une ombre est apparue et il s'est mis à marcher comme s'il était sous l'emprise de quelque chose. Et vous pensez que c'est à cause du passage que vous avez lu en canard Bien sûr, je, je vois pas d'autre explication. Je ne suis pas sûr. C'est vrai qu'on entend des histoires être de personnes qui auraient eu des comportements anormaux après avoir entendu parler le canard. Mais je n'y ai jamais trop cru. Quel genre d'histoire Pas quelques histoires locales, au pouce. Et puis, il y en a une qui a fait plus de bruit parce qu'elle touchait des étrangers. Quels étrangers Oh, il n'y a pas de quoi s'inquiéter. C'était il y a longtemps. Et puis, ces histoires sont toujours entourées de beaucoup de superstitions. Écoutez, je suis désolé, mais je vais devoir... Attendez S'il vous plaît, vous voulez bien m'aider Les légendes de la région disent que les esprits ne peuvent pas se manifester sans la présence de la mangrove. Et alors ben Alors... Euh, le livre de Monsieur Vito est à Londres. J'imagine que vous aussi Oui, mais c'est mon père qui le hante. Bah, écoutez, je ne suis pas en train de vous dire que je comprends ce qui se passe. Mais si l'on croit les légendes, une solution pourrait être de détruire ce livre. Ce qui veut dire que... Idéalement, vous voulez que j'achète un livre pour que vous puissiez y mettre le feu. Ça, ce n'est pas quelque chose que j'ai particulièrement envie de faire. Vous vous sauveriez, vous aussi. Imaginez ce qu'il aurait pu arriver si vous aviez acheté ce livre et si vous l'aviez lu. C'est vrai Bon, c'est d'accord. On doit le détruire. Mais je, peux pas vous, je ne peux pas vous promettre des ressources inépuisables. Si le livre est trop cher, bah, nous serons tous les deux coincés. Bon, il faut que je me prépare avant de parler à, à Vito. Je vous rappelle dans quelques minutes. Oui. Merci.
Hello. Good evening. Yes. Good evening. J'aimerais commencer, si vous me permettez, par I'd like to start, if I may, by reminding you of your promise. Oh. Bon, je suis conscient du fait que il Now, y a I'm aware that maybe there is just the smallest of possibilities. Uh, I don't want to offend you, but it struck me that perhaps that book took a somewhat uh, circuitous route into your possession. You what? Loraline here, Monsieur Théron is uh, reminding you of your promise. Say where the book came from. Oh yeah, that. You can tell Mr. Théron that I inherited it. J'en ai hérité. Intéressant. Par qui? Interesting. Who from? A guy named Dubois. Un certain Dubois. Je vois. I see. Anything else? I was under bon, the impression that we had a deal, question. that you were satisfied. Vous dit que vous étiez prêt à acheter. Je pensais que ça voulait dire que vous étiez satisfait. Presque. Vous voudrez bien me montrer. Very nearly. Would you mind showing me vous what condition the book is in? Caméra. Just hold it up to the camera. <laughs> J'aimerais surtout voir la tranche. Um, Monsieur Théron is asking to see. Uh, got it. The forage. Uh, what's that? Uh, the uh, edges of the pages of a book when pushed together to form a surface. Oh. Parfait. Excellent. Could you fan some pages out for me? Pour me faire plaisir. Human. Laissez-les retomber tout doucement. Is them back, gently. Je dois avouer que je suis un peu déçu. Disappointed, but let's see if we can still come to an agreement. Ça va? Uh, yes, uh, ça va. Uh, I'm fine. Where were we? Indiquez votre Vito. Uh, 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 your price, Monsieur Vito. My price is five million lapous francs. Mon prix est. Quatre millions de francs le pouce. Je pense qu'on peut trouver un accord. I think we can make a deal. Excellent. Mais peut-être pas celui que But vous croyez. Perhaps not in the way you think. Je sais d'où vient ce livre. Il y a une famille. I know Dubois where this book comes from. There's a Dubois family on the pouce. A very peculiar family crest. Ils ont perdu leur exemplaire de ce livre il y a quelques années. They lost their copy a few years ago under unusual circumstances. What do you want? Qu'est-ce que vous voulez? Je vous propose 200 000 francs. Counter offer 200,000 francs. <laughs> no way. Hors de question. Ça serait dommage. It would shame Mr. Vito, would it not, if... The Dubois will suddenly find out about the whereabouts of their precious heirloom. She'd never sell. Elle ne le vendrait jamais. Pas ça, je sais. Oh, I know. D'où mon offre plus que Hence généreuse. Hence my very generous offer. You are aware that you're blackmailing me in front of a witness. Vous réalisez que vous faites du chantage devant un témoin. Je ne vous ai accusé de rien. I have accused you of nothing. Alors, est-ce que vous êtes d'accord So... Do we have a deal or do we not? Deal. C'est d'accord. 
J'ai besoin que vous me l'envoyiez par courrier ce soir. Je peux vous. I need it couriered tonight. We can email the details. Money first. L'argent d'abord. Bien sûr. Absolutely. Bonne nuit, Monsieur Vito. Good night, Mr. Vito. It's morning. C'est le matin. Si. Good morning. Twat. Right. The book is on its way. Police, please. Ah. Ah. Allô? Allô? Oh. Okay. <sighs> 
Dad? Stop distracting humans. Uh, now, uh, uh, protect the great tree. Stop the human destroyers. What can you repeat? Perrier. Uh, Perrier Kawa. <laughs> In Hong Kong, you help us. Me, I'm not helping you. We are two. When you hold us to this, you are our vessel. Bulawi Pilamenhenko. Hawking Palusi, a giant of Protect the great trees, stop the human destroyers. Piers, you want me to stop Piers and the development? In Hong Kong. You help us? No, I didn't mean to call you. It was a mistake. Sevori. You will help us. Or we will end those loved by you. What's happening? Don't worry, I've sorted it. <laughs>